all about USDA loans. Hey everybody, it's Adam Meek with Adam Meek Real Estate, and I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about USDA loans. So I don't want this to turn into a history lesson or anything like that, but FHA, USDA, DVA loans, they've been around for a long time, and uh, the purpose is to help people who are first-time buyers get into houses. So those are three different programs that are typical for first-time buyers. And today, we're just going to talk mostly about the USDA or RDA loan program. So um, a long time ago, the Department of Agriculture provided direct loans or guaranteed loans to rural areas to help with home ownership in those areas. And we still have those programs available today. That's what the rural development, I can't remember what the last letter stands for, but anyway, it's an RDA or a USDA, uh, United States Department of Agriculture loan, home ownership loan. So it's to help people that are first time buyers get into their first house. So a couple of things that make it um, different from the other ones is it's typically cheaper because it doesn't have as many fees as the FHA loan. And uh, that's, that's one big benefit. Another one is, is that it's truly a nothing down loan it will allow you to finance up to 102% of the purchase price. So that can cover quite a bit of your closing costs and everything else to help you get into a home. So it's cheaper, has less fees, plus it will allow you to finance up to 102% of the sale price. Uh, a couple other things um, that you'll need to know about. It's a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. And uh, most recently, they, you know, back in a year ago, before all this COVID crap started, um, all you needed was a 580 credit score. And it keeps kind of fluctuating around. I think right now it's about 640 or 660 somewhere in there for a USDA loan. But that's something you'll need to talk to your lender about and make sure that uh, you have the credit and income and all that stuff. There's income qualifying that you have to do. There's a couple of links to some websites that I'm going to provide uh, in the comments later for this, this uh, video. And it'll go straight to the USDA website that'll talk about um, the property eligibility. It can't, typically it has to be less than 2,000 square feet. And there's some other things there. It's going to have to pass a uh, HUD appraisal just like an FHA or DVA loan. And, um, and let's see what else. I'm drawing a blank. Let me look at my screen here and figure it out. Yeah, so, so uh, typically the household income uh, qualifying is, is something you'll, you'll need to look at. Um, it's going to help people that, uh, that would have trouble with eligibility for other programs. So uh, I'll include those links so you can look at that. And um, let's see. Uh, we already talked about that you need a, a, right now I think you need around a 640, but talk to your lender. Uh, you don't have to have a down payment, uh, unlike conventional loans and FHA. Uh, you can roll your fees, um, which are typically lower than FHA mortgage insurance in most cases, but talk to your lender. Uh, you can ro roll those closing costs into your loan because it allows you to finance 102% of the, the appraised price. And if you already have a USDA loan, you can refinance it into a new USDA loan. Uh, a couple of things. It has to be your primary residence. Property can't be a working farm. Uh, has to meet USDA standards, and that's going to be the HUD appraisal. So that's going to be fairly similar and uniform. So those are some things about the USDA loan that makes it really good for first-time buyers. Um, it's truly a nothing down loan and uh, can help you get into your first property. Everything that's in this area in Ottertail County just about is going to qualify um, as far as location because we're a rural area. So um, there might be some areas that I haven't seen that wouldn't qualify, but to the best of my knowledge, just about every place in uh, Ottertail County unless it's a working farm or it's a house greater than 2,000 square feet, typically will qualify for a USDA loan. Uh, there's some other things there that, uh, that uh, your lender can go over with you, but that's, that's kind of the high points. I hope you, uh, hope you uh, in, 
thought this was helpful. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up and uh, comment and share and all that stuff. And uh, if you want to see more content, just go to my Facebook page and click the like button and uh, you'll start seeing lots more stuff. So I hope this was helpful and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.